Fantastico. It's my favorite. Le choix de président, soda raisin. Nobody knows what it means, but I am a connoisseur, and this is the best. Hmm. I've been a dark soul for a long time, writing poems, and, and recently in my life I found a source of happiness. And it's affected my poetry. It's made it different. I have a, a new poem I'd like to share with you, and I hope you enjoy the new direction it takes. The darkness in my soul sees a break in the night. The dawning of the warm rays of love flood the sky of my heart. I am embraced by the joy of another. It has pulled me up and brushes the dirt off and straightens my tie. She holds my hand and kisses my cheek. She smiles and draws me close. Before, I was a no-name brand cup of coffee that was spit in by the, by the short, stocky, hairy waitress known as Life. And she, she is like the sugar and cream mixed in to cover the bitterness of my black soul. And now, I'm amongst the stars and feel like a million bucks. She took away my sorrow, and I have never been so miserable. What am I, this shadowy passenger in the back of life, supposed to do with this joy? All this love is getting in the way of my self-hate. This beautiful relationship is getting in the way of my romance with my sadness. I spent much of my time carefully constructing my brooding cavern of sorrow, a sad cave, if you will, wearing my sad cape, driving my sad mobile, watching over the city, and snuffing out happiness and its minions. I was sad man. And then comes this woman beautiful and lovely and destroying the whole thing burning down the sad cave and laughing all the way like a far less crazy and a far more lovely joker. I am the Nancy Kerrigan of melancholy and she is the dude that totally busted her knee with a baseball bat of care and ruined everything I built my life around. I am the Avro Arrow of tears and she was the reason they shut down the Avro Arrow program. I, I forgot to kind of look into the background of all that. I am the radio star and she is video. The one that killed me. Who do you think you are? Coming around here with your smiles and hugs and twinkling eyes. Now I have to work even harder to keep my investment of tears. I have to imagine not just one orphan kid and meowing lonely but a whole box of them, calling together for their mother who will never come, in the dark, in a dangerous alley, somewhere where their cries are lost in the cacophony of police sirens and loud, moaning club music, in the rain and the cold water slowly warping their feeble cardboard fort. Oh yeah, that's dark. My soul is at peace. And one of them is missing an eye or something. Oh yeah, that's dark. But what's this? Oh no! There she is! She's picking up the box and takes it back to her house. She lovingly dries them off with a towel and feeds them milk. The horror! She's now naming them after the seven dwarves and putting cute little hats on them. Ah! And now they're all curled up beside her as she reads them a bedtime story and they're all purring. Ah! 
My soul is being plunged into the vat of acid known as love and burning off the precious black oil of my dark persona. And now I find myself pulled out and the doctor shows me the mirror after they perform the surgery and I find a smile burned onto my face. And all that's left for me to, to do is to laugh and say, why so serious? <laughs>